to another Axe Family video. We are in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, and Taylor and I are here for a week. We're doing a photo video project with an orphanage here in Haiti uh, through Child Hope International. And uh, one of my really good friends, Spencer, um, runs the orphanage here in Haiti on site, and uh, we're staying with them, so it's awesome to be able to visit them. And uh, so, Kind of our focus this week is to get the photos done for them that they're really um, wanting and needing uh, for their organization and then um, we're also gonna enjoy our time with with our friends and visit them and try to love on them well while we're here and so let me show you around Haiti a little bit a country that has been on my heart for uh, a number of years probably the last 12 years or so it's a country that um, I had never traveled to up until uh, the anniversary of that large earthquake that they had and I want to show you guys a little bit of the outside of this house um, this house is uh, a house that during my first time here in Haiti uh, a group of us remodeled this house so that the orphanage could use it as a guest house and now they actually use it for all their girls uh, to stay in. The orphanage is a series of houses that are in this neighborhood. The first time I came here this house was kind of abandoned and hadn't been finished and so the team that I came with we spent our time remodeling this house um, putting in uh, plumbing, putting in different electrical, um, carpentry work, etc. And we got this house to where it was livable. So they have another house that all the boys stay in. They also um, have the staff that they live in their own houses in different areas. Um, the kids go to school nearby. Um, and so the orphanage isn't just one building, but it's uh, kind of located in this area. It's a series of buildings.
there's no city water here in Haiti. Um, there might be some parts of Haiti that have uh, public water, but uh, at least how this building works is if you look up here on the roof, it's called the Shadow Doe. Up there, it's that black tank. Uh, it's really similar to this tank right here. This is a Shadow Doe. So the way that the water system works for this building is the rain will come down and on the edge of uh, the roof there's a gutter system and all that rainwater comes down onto the roof goes through the plumbing and goes into a cistern underground um, just kind of like a big cement um, holding area underground and then uh, the city power comes on only at nighttime and during the day you either run off of a generator for electricity or you have a battery bank that was charged up from the electricity at night to run off of during the day. So um, there's all this water that's sitting underground in that cistern and then there's the shadow dough, that black tank that's up on the roof and there's a float valve in the shadow dough so whenever the shadow dough gets to a certain point a pump kicks on and it pumps water up from the cistern fills the shadow dough and then everything is gravity fed from that black tank into the house so when you turn on the sink or you take a shower it's all just gravity fed there's no pump system pump there's there's no pump system that pressurizes it uh, to the faucet and then they just throw you know some chlorine tablets uh, in the shadow dough to keep it clean uh, but as far as drinking water goes um, they just buy bottled water so we've been here for one night so far and we're just getting used to uh, the temperature and the climate and been meeting some different people. And uh, we're gonna be here for Thanksgiving, uh, which is gonna be really fun. That's in a couple days. This is my friend Asher, and Asher, how long have you lived in Haiti? Five years. What's your uh, favorite sport? Do you play soccer like on a team or? Yes. What's, what's your position? Well, I think it's gonna be left wing this weekend if I play. Nice. What's something else about Haiti? Haiti won independence against the French. 30% speak French. Some people speak English, but most of the people speak Creole, right? Yes. And do you speak Creole? Yeah. Do you speak French? I'm learning. Okay, and this is my friend Salem. Hi. Uh, Salem, how old are you? Seven years old. Uh, what's your favorite sport? So I taught them how to hypnotize a chicken, something that I learned when I was younger. Hello. Um, and they have, how many chickens do you guys have? Five. five. They have five chickens. And so basically how you hypnotize a chicken, you pin the chicken down to the ground where there's like some soft dirt. And you put their head and their beak right on the ground and then you draw a line in the dirt from their beak straight out in front of them. And then when you finish doing that, then you just very quietly. So today I'm just getting some kind of B-roll footage and then just some artistic uh, photos uh, that will capture kind of the culture in Haiti as well as uh, the orphanage here and, and what it looks like. And so that's been really fun so far. Uh, it's super warm uh, it's not the hottest months of the year here but we're definitely in the 90s and we went from having snow uh, just a couple weeks ago back at home to coming here so 
uh, definitely uh, sweating a lot and uh, feeling sticky, but uh, that's just part of being in Haiti. And so food's good, people are awesome, things are going really well. gotten photos of all the kids and some of the staff. It's been fun. Taylor's been recording video for me. It's been awesome. Thank you. Yep. I think we're gonna go get some food. Thanks again for watching. We've had an awesome time here in Haiti, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Hats off to you guys.